hide this tape when I'm finished. If none of us make it, at least there'll be some kind of a record. The storm's been hitting us pretty hard now for 48 hours. We still have nothing to go on. One other thing. I think it rips through your clothes when it takes you over. Windows found some shredded long johns, but the name tag was missing. They could be anybody's. We're all very tired. There's nothing else I can do. Just wait. They're really doing it. <laughs> the thing remastered. When I saw the news earlier today, it was some random Twitter post, and I was saying to myself, what the hell is this? There's no way. <laughs> There's no way they're actually remaking, remastering the thing video game. I liked the thing video game. And I'm sitting here right now and I'm admitting that was not really a good game. <laughs> it was jank. It was dated even when it came out. I but I cannot recall anyone who was marching through the streets demanding for this game to come back, but here we are, and I'm telling you right now, I am all here for it. I am super excited. The wave of nostalgia that has just come over me. This, this game, hold on a second, oh my god, I want to go through the trailer one bit at a t one little bit at a time. But before I do, let's, let's, uh, Let's uh, go into some more detail here. This is coming from Night Dive Studios, right? Night Dive Studios. If that doesn't sound familiar... Oh my god. If, that, if they don't sound familiar, it's because they weren't... It didn't really ring a bell with me either. These guys love to do nothing but just go back in time see all of these old gems that no one's doing anything with and just bringing them back putting them on steam putting them wherever remastering them modernizing them and the the steam page is all is already up and running right for, for night dive studios let me let me get it up here night dive studios if you keep on the up they've brought back Star Wars, Dark Forces, they've done Turok, they've done Rise of the Triad. What else did they bring? They've got Blade Runner, they've got Sin Gold Edition, <laughs> Titanic Adventure at a Time, freaking Titanic. I don't think anyone was demanding the <laughs> return of the Titanic video game series, but the Mad Lads went and did it. Oh, I am so here for all this. You have no idea. When I was about knee-high to a duck, again, I admit, the game was not really that good, but I had so many fond memories going through that game repeatedly. Repeatedly! Here they are. Repeatedly! Multiple playthroughs! In a game that, according to one old ancient, uh... <laughs> Famous internet personality dubbed Puke and Fuses. We miss you, Spooty One. I really hope you're doing all well. I hope you're doing all right. Oh, God, my speech is failing me. Let's see. About this game, no one survives alone. In 2002, third-person survival horror shooter that serves as a sequel to John Carpenter's genre-defying 1982 film is back. 
remastered by Night Dive Studios to bring this innovative blend of fast-paced squad action meets survival horror to the modern era, including anti-aliasing, per-pixel lighting, 4K resolutions, and up to 144 frames per second. <laughs> Oh my god, I, I want to go through every little bit of this trailer right now, very slowly. And my, the, my god, the memories of the damn entire game came flooding back as I saw everything. I remember going to this, the place where Max's like, personal shed fell over and you get this recording of his. <laughs> it's where you could also find... The fucking spaceship the thing was trying to assemble. <laughs> so here we are. We're looking over uh, the outpost. There's not much you can do in the the outpost from the movie, the, the American outpost. It serves as a tutorial mission. This warehouse. As soon as I saw this whole dangly thing, I remember where that this fucking thing is. This was not really a fun room. You want to know what I remember from this warehouse room? I remember using jank controls to balance on a beam for shotgun shells. <laughs> Here's some, uh, oh, this was, yeah, this was from, uh, this is from the intro, yeah, I believe. Yeah, that's from, uh, the old, that, that's from the, the American Outpost. You can, for those who remember, you can walk around where the, the thing was was encased in ice. And if you remember, this is where you meet a soldier. This is where a part of your squad is. Oh my god, I could break down nearly every facet of that game and explaining how little it makes sense in hindsight, how a lot of the shit went down. Because spoiler! Spoiler right here and now for a game from... Oh my god, what was it? 2002? Yeah, the soldier you meet in here and the engineer you meet beforehand, they're both the thing! They're both the fucking thing! And they just... Don't attack you! <laughs> oh my god... Let's see, uh, show me something else. Show me another scene. Okay, this, this is from the American Outpost. I remember that body, and you want to know something? That doesn't happen. This is something they made for this trailer. Because the body doesn't move. The body doesn't do anything. It scares the shit out of your medic. And it's the soldier guy who's like, look, calm down. <laughs> Let's figure out what's going on here. Yeah, if, if you know, you know. It's the same guy that's like, I'm locked, loaded, and ready to make shit dead. Man, even back when I was playing this as a child, I had the same thought. I mean, I've seen the thing multiple times. Whose fucking body was this supposed to be? Uh, this is a Norwegian post. This is where, this is a scene where he walks in, Blake walks in, and meets the engineer dude who's wounded. You gotta get him a med kit for him to trust you. And he's just walking in, and he's like, IDENTIFY YOURSELF! <laughs> God, it's me, Carter. I think his name was Carter? Oh my God. I think his name was Carter. I'm hurt bad. He's like, oh, what, what, what? wait a minute. Don't you come any step closer. Where the hell did you come from anyway? I'm probably paraphrasing the lines a little bit, but Jesus. Uh, American Outpost. We're showing off where the thing was in case. I actually don't remember where that is. This is the cafeteria. I remember this cafeteria. You meet some dude who has a flamethrower. And he's just like, take one more step and I'll fry your ass. <laughs> and these things I forget what they called these things I think they literally just call them walkers or something like that you gotta hunt down like three of the fucking things I love this new animation it looks good look at that that looks creepy as shit this same uh, cafeteria where the opening cutscene plays of the Norwegian guy walking in and I oh my god how did the name go Oh shame 
Roshin! And uh, I don't know. They're speaking of uh, meebity bobbity. I don't. <laughs> but it looks good. It does look good. Can't tell you where this scene's taking place, but again, the animation, it looks nice. I love the extra work. It makes them feel more alien. And not just like generic monster, if that makes any sense. I, I love the thing. Oh, by the by, everything you can only kill with fire obviously except for these little things you could just blow them apart with a shotgun and they're everywhere they're the most common fucking enemy in the game unless they've changed it this scene does not play out this way <laughs> this is from this is this is from arguably the uh yes this is from the first boss fight of the game it's actually immediately after uh, the warehouse that you have to fight through. And you only have one AI partner. And uh, spoiler alert, he's the thing too. Oh my god, there's so much I could break down. But if I do a playthrough of this game, I'm probably going to do that breakdown as I play it. It's definitely going to be for people who have played this game previously. Or those who just like hearing me ramble. But this... You don't have AI partners in here. You are chasing some random Norwegian dude, who turns out he turns into this thing, so you were chasing the thing. And I could tell you what I, I could tell you this for damn sure. If anything, from this boss fight, what most people probably remember is this weird bug where the sound cut out and it was it, it was just mute. The whole cutscene was just mute. And then it was a bad then it was a bad boss fight anyway. <laughs> this game was so jank, and I am so excited. I am here for it. Bring it on, Night Dive Studios. Suck it to me one more time.